Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome, RJ Chaos. So we'll talk a little bit about the playthrough before we hop into the game. Number one, we will not be playing the Steam version since for whatever reason they decided to keep the DRM. The game has been out for years. Seriously, please read the Steam version. Two, it's going to be a very, very interesting playthrough. We're going to be playing a DS game, which is very touchscreen heavy. <laughs> so you can imagine how I will react to some of those puzzles. But we'll get through them, because there's going to be a lot of puzzles. So we get, I, I think it's from quote unquote the same creative minds as Phoenix Wright. So expect some quirkiness. Let's go ahead and boot things up. We're gonna go ahead and pause that music. <laughs> Get brace yourself for a million uses. Of I'm a ghost. You all the year. There's gonna be a lot of good reasons to use it, so don't worry about that. Let me go ahead and open the game. We'll switch over. Also, for the sake of visibility. I have flipped the top and bottom screen, so if you see references to the top screen, it'll be the big screen. Well, actually, technically it's the small screen at the moment, because uh, almost the entire game is played on the bottom screen for those that have not seen it before. So rather than having it really small and in the corner, I have it blown up a little bit so you can see it. So basically the entire game could be played through touch controls if I really want to. Actually, before I do that, let me reset. I just want to make sure there's no other loaders. Give me one second as I reset. Because it just kind of jumped into the title. I'm curious if there's any kind of auto intros. I did not see any when I was testing earlier, but that doesn't mean they didn't, didn't exist. So yeah, I would say around the time I was playing the first Phoenix Wright game, int yeah, pretty much between the first and second games, because I, I started the series a bit late, I ended up playing Ghost Trick, so I feel like we're kind of playing it almost in the same order that I played these kinds of games. Fun, at least it should be wacky, says Chris. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of opportunities because uh, we're going to be a ghost pretty much spoilers from the first second of the game, so don't worry about when to spam the ghost thing. It, it will become immediately obvious. I think the first three lines of dialogue, <laughs> we jump into it, so the most minor of minor spoilers. Um... So yeah, maybe it doesn't have an intro here. We'll give it another second or so. I forgot to check this before the stream. Definitely my bad. But hey, we'll uh, be playing pretty much with the bottom screen. So hopefully you enjoyed the blown up version of it. May need to lower the cooldown. Oh no, that would be that would be too bad. <laughs> so we'll we'll see where it goes. Okay, I'm assuming it's not going to do anything. We left it on the screen for a while. So let's go ahead and progress it. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. Must have been unconscious for a while. It feels fuzzy, like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there's a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. Then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well... Probably not, anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who could just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure. But what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this, dignified death pose, rip pozo. This is no time to be lolling around. You're the only one who can save her. What the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the I dead. Actually, I'm not really sure what voice to give this character. I played a little bit of the intro just to get used to the game, so at least I kind of know who slash what is speaking, but I didn't really think about the voice for this character. 
I'll, I'll find it as we go through, I guess. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. Voice in my head, who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Dogi voice? I don't think it's Dogi for this one. Take a look at your corpse. You see that blue flame? That's your soul. Do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm. This looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try touching your soul. Here you go, chat. Touch the soul. Next, with your finger still on it, slide your soul across it and connect it to the core. Yeah, we can see we have an unknown ability if we look at the... What is now technically the bottom screen of the playthrough. Congratulations! Crossing gate raise. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So what? Now I'm a crossing gate? Ahem. <laughs> now then, use the crossing gate to save that woman! What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Now's your chance. Touch the trick button. We're going to touch the trick button, chat. Oof. Hold it. Well played. Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated the object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. All you have to do is pe perform a trick like that is to touch the trick button. Now the woman's fate has changed. Albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Hmm, yes. That's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, huh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Okay. So, I'll do this, even though I know I can't do this. There is a limit for how far we could stretch our soul. So I just want to showcase this so chat can see. So I have to keep in mind that I can only hop to things that are pretty close to me. I see. A guitar then, is it? <clears throat> hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. I would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well... I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Let me try that again. So long, sister. Who's there? Rip guitar. Hold it. Ah, oh, that's gotta be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see. What core is close enough to possess from here? I love the guitar look shot up, by the way, in the little profile image. I guess all there is is... Me? No time to be picky. I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? I can manipulate objects. And I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what. Why don't you try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Hmm, unknown ability chat. All right, now we'll set time in motion. Okay, go ahead and try the trick button. Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, are really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding! 
Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. Slide the screen? It's easy. Here, give it a try. Touch any direction and slide. I'm going to try to avoid looking at her for a little bit. Oh, okay. I was curious what the game would do. Whenever you want to see what's going on somewhere, just slide the screen. Okay, I got it. Right now, I want to see what's happening to that woman. <laughs> oh, okay. So we got extra dialogue for not obeying the game. Corpses are objects. D&D told me this. Mm, true, but they're not ordinary objects. Of course. Well, you know what to do then. Slide the screen and see if you could find her. Curious if we could see stuff we're not meant to see yet. So we can see at some point we probably need to lower the gate. It won't let me go downwards any further. Perhaps that's all we could do for now. We found her. And I ignore her for a little bit. <laughs> well, that looks like we could drop that at some point. So we'll keep that in mind. There's also a wrecking ball. It looks like if we raise the gate, maybe we could jump to the wrecking ball in the future. Also, there's a bicycle here. So it looks like there's a few things we can interact with. Anyway, let's do what the game wants. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Well, GG chat. We did well. Out of my way. done. I'm on my way. Look at us in that pose. Hmm. That was interesting. The mafia guy tilted his hat to us. In the end, looks like her fate remains unchanged. What good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this. Hmm. It does say he has bad eyesight, so do we assume that he didn't recognize us when we were on the floor above? Or perhaps now that we're in a pose asserting dominance, <laughs> he recognized us. Guess we'll have that answer cleared up at some point in the playthrough. Hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy, what happened tonight? Dot to dot to dot to dot to dot 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 to dot. Ah, ignoring me, are you? A little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. More like my thoughts were beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now. I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? What can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, have you possess me? Possess you, huh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. There you go, chat. That's a great sentence out of context. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around, discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time. 
Hmm. Now we have access to like a lower area now that we've fallen down a little bit. We can see like a little fan. Kind of mannequin. Tire by itself. What else to really do around here? Interesting, interesting. Anyway, I'll touch this because it, it so desperately wants me to touch this. The thought bubble you just touched. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, huh? So, the dead don't have voices. What we think is communicated directly to one another. So those thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Honestly, a majority of the time from what I vaguely recall this game, it's mostly just extra plot fluff. Now then. In order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And the ghost button is your ticket in. Uh-oh, chat. We gotta be, we have to start ghosting. The best thing to do is try it. The ghost button, huh? This will give it a little touch. Still love that we have an unknown. Interesting, interestingly, it doesn't give our name here. So we can assume, at least from the start of the game, that we don't know who we are. Because we were also kind of confused about our identity because, quote, we don't see any other dead bodies laying around here or something like that, end quote. Anyway, what happens if I trick early? Will the game yell at me? No, it'll just zap me to the... Okay, so if I press the trick button, it'll always go back to that. That'll be good to know for later. Hmm... Door. Traffic sign. Traffic cone. Ooh, can't reach the phone from there. Unfortunate. Unfolding cod. By the way, if you take a look at the top screen, they're referring to what's in the bottom right corner. <laughs> just for clarity, if they reference that, just a reminder. Just look at the bottom. What about it? it? Tells you the trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. Indeed, we can unfold. Information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So, in case of this folding cot, looks like I can unfold it. To perform a trick on the object you're possessing, first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, the back button is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Huh? Who's this we? Oh, it won't let me mess around. Or Wait, I can. Oh, you can. I can't just mess around with this. Okay, let's see if I do this. I could turn the fan on. Yeah, with cert dominance. Interesting, and that flies the flag away from us. Might be relevant for later. So we can also kind of pause time mid-movement. So we could technically move the flag around a little bit if we want to. Interesting. Let's go over to the, the unknown lamp. Huh, that's funny. What is? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. Something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So, those waves are because of my powers of the dead, huh? Anyway... <laughs> this one is special. Congratulations, you passed! It is indeed very special. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power, what else? Another one. Now let's review. You possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? Nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you could do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try it and see? 
I love that it cranes down so I can move over to the corpse. Uh-oh, green line. What's this? Can you hear me? Dot more dot to dot to dot to dot dots chat. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? You came to your senses. You'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, huh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's see her like this for now. Yeah, I'm sure Chad is like, wait a minute, how did we actually die, right? <laughs> Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, it can save her life. That is just an expert level version of unconscious, exactly. Oh, sure. You make it sound so easy. And it is easy. Use your powers on a corpse. You go back to the past, to a time four minutes before that person's death. I guess it's playing off of the, the love of four being related to Jeff, death in Japan. I did hear that these character names were slightly different in Japan, where they were named after, uh, like, concepts of death in Buddhism, if I remember correctly. But unfortunately, that did get censored in the US version, so, oops. <laughs> like, I think the the lamp, for example, might have been named after the sound effect it makes when it bounces back and forth, like, quickie quickie or something. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It's probably better we don't have the metaphorical names, because it'll make their plot relation a little too obvious to how they do stuff in the game. Only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. She's still well within that time limit. Hmm. So we have another criteria. So our powers only work... ...to go back and prevent our deaths if it's been a day. But interestingly, we didn't get that option when we're with the other body. So, hmm. I want to give it a try before it's too late. This is crazy! None of it makes any sense! Oh, don't worry, it's just like a Phoenix Wright game. It doesn't have to make sense. I'm talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. See, even the game agrees. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered! Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Uh-oh, chat. Rewind time. So now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Four minutes before death. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no! He's dead! Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this! You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had rub out the last traces of Tesmic left in this country. Or Temsic, excuse me. Temsic? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is, you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. <laughs> what, a, what a weird and very specific thing to point out. Thank you, villain, question mark. Look, all I want to know is, who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. Unless that was supposed to be us, but we just didn't get the picture. Either way, <laughs> real, real subtle hint there. So long, sister. Oof. 
Hold it. Who's there? Oh, they're playing through what we did last time. Hold it. I was gonna say, this game is gonna get a lot of use of hold it emote, potentially. Shotgun. Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? We're saying, as long as no one hits my big obvious weak point, I'm unstoppable. Exactly. Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jago, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Well, we didn't do well. We just kind of witnessed her die again. And there you have it. The last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. She still died. Yes, and you could change that. With your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess. Manipulate, huh? Ghost, and then trick. <laughs> G chat, who. Wh wherever will we have thought of combining ghost and trick? If only there was something we could view on the screen that would give us an indication. You can rewind those four minutes as many times as you like, too. <laughs> You're gonna be puzzling. You better be able to do this, player. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So this is the four minutes ago, huh? Fine, I get that. What am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. The corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. And naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. This is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in, then. Trick time. Only four minutes left before she dies. Better try and get there as fast as you can. No time to lose. Who are you? Time is passing, chat. Last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right, have a look at the top screen. AKA the bottom screen. The top screen, huh? You know what, I'll just say bottom from now on. The sand in the top of the timers. How much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. Oh, can I finally reach that tire? Mannequin. Tire. Interesting. I also notice I can't slide to look around when I'm in this form. I can open the refrigerator. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna read this dialogue again. We already did it. They're doing the Tesmic one. Time is passing. Uh-oh, our time's running out. So I probably have to close it. Then I can go to go to here, go to here, to go to here. And I gotta very quickly turn it on and then ghost. Because we know the flag is gonna fly. We saw that before. I'm gonna use this to go higher. Oh. Did it not go as high as before, or is it just me? Is it because of this? Oh, probably because of this. I didn't turn this on. That sucks. See if this works. Oh, it doesn't just stay on, it turns off after a while. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, let's try this again. There we go. We got there eventually. It's a long sister. Just a four more just a few more steps. Hope I make it in time. Uh oh, she's almost out of time, chat. We could go up to the bicycle.
Oh, so the other events still occur even though we're here. Interesting. Now's your chance to change your fate. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. Quick time. She's gonna die in three seconds. I can ring it or pedal. I guess I'll try ringing first. Damn it, what's going on here? Your side of Jago never misses, as long as the target is within point blank range. <laughs> there you go, that's a statement. Looks like you made it in time. Just barely. Yep, she's still alive. Now that split second, hope was born. Just now her fate was changed. Albeit ever so slightly. This is the worst hit man. Yeah, it really is. Fate changed. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The bridge is up. So, we're gonna ghost for sure. The one thing we saw before, there was a pedal, so presumably I got a pedal. Oh, I think it was trying to tell me to read something. You're wondering what's going on over there, right? Well, that's right. If I want to take a look, I could slide the screen. Exactly, and by the way, I also used the D-pad to do the same thing. Oh. That's awkward, because I'm not going to be using a thicker controller for the entire game, I'm gonna be honest with you. Use whichever way is easiest for you. Alright, so we're gonna ghost. I should be able to reach this. Ah, oh, so now we put the giant death ball above the other guy. You hear something? Alright, so... We could probably extend the ladder. To get somewhere we're not normally supposed to go. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you know, we're going back in time to prevent a death, but we're just straight up gonna murder a man. You know what, chat? Murder time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Are we sure we're not a hitman? How does it feel to save a lady's life? Damn, we just straight up annihilated him. <laughs> Some real spy versus spy antics? I think so. Jeez. So the danger is gone? No, we are the danger. Did you see what we just did? Equivalent exchange, we save a life by taking one? Hmm. Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. <laughs> he, he rolled away? Uh, that's... okay. <laughs> Are, is that is that implying he survived that? Use your powers to avert the woman's fate. <laughs> How does it feel to save a lady's life and end a man's? Pretty much. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. Fate averted. I guess I missed out on some dialogue. I guess I wonder if I should see... Oh, I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. So I'm wondering if I should purposely fail just to get more dialogue. I'm assuming Nani or something was the last thing that Murphy typed. Ome wa Shindaru or something. I came back to the present, it was raining. Save the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Achoo! A stranger. Word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. Can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? Most important of all. Why was I killed?
Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. As in Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? You're not gonna tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I... I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back. Others never do. If you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning. I'm afraid I'm... I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? You even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, uh, I see. Think of it this way. We could use ghost tricks to save ourselves. And I've tried to save myself as well. I mean, look at me. I'm a dust lamp. Dot, 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 dot. What happened indeed? Welcome in Parameter. Why a dust lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. In any case, it seems we're unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! Only exists in this world until tomorrow morning. Great that fact can't be changed. There's really no escaping my own death? How does he know that? In the morning, I'm gonna cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I could do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I don't know my story. The lost story of my fate, right up till the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. I'm gonna go and learn the truth about your death, as well you should. I will. Let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? Can't even imagine what the first step would be. First step? That's easy. You start with her. It's you, Chan. Person who witnessed your death. There's some important clues, don't you think? Did she witness our death? I don't think she did, even according to the intro of this game. Right, Chan? I think, I think we're making some big story assumptions here, Mr. Dust Lamp. Hey, you're right, and not only that, she might even know who I am. I don't think she knows who you are, but whatever. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What's I doing here tonight, in a place like this? A woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Uh-oh. Right, chat? Uh-oh. Yeah, like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Touch the save button to view a record of what you've learned. Be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Yeah, if we're taking the assumption that the dead body was us, I don't think his statements make sense, to be honest. New info has been added. All right, then. I wish you good luck. Trick time. All right, so we found the save point. It's a phone book. Me, the mystery. I lost my life at, at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm gonna regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. The only lead is the red-headed woman who witnessed that death. Red-headed target. Woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the hitman, and I saved her with my powers of the dead. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he is, really. Tell me the secrets of the power of the dead. Hmm. Hunter in the dark. He calls himself nearsighted Jago. A sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Is he really a sniper then? 
Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the redheaded woman and me. He's gone now due to an un uh, due to an unfortunate accident. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't don't try to rewrite that like anything other than us killing him. No, no, no. <laughs> we we straight up crushed him. What do you mean? No. Uh, we call that unreliable narrative. Yeah, we definitely didn't just drop a giant ball on his head and kill him outright. Oh, so we can shimmy now instead of rings. Let's shimmy. <laughs> Natural causes, yeah. Then we could go... We could pedal to do nothing. Let's open the umbrella. And she's gonna carry us, right? Oh, that's, that's a neat way to get around. See what she has to say. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and that big iron ball fell all by itself. Yes, an unfortunate accident just occurred. <laughs> what, what a mystery. Anything could have caused that. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Oh, oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. <laughs> there you go, chat. Oh dear. Now we're near the phone. Here you go. At. Let's see what she has to say. Seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Presumably we can exam- I was gonna say, examine the note. Some kind of note? Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. You don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it. Even more importantly, Oh, it didn't tell us what was in the note. Hmm. They get a chance to read that note. Hmm. Darn, chat. What a tease. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from, huh? How would I know that? I was gonna say the hitman answered it earlier. We should be able to piece that together as the player. Think back. Before you helped avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in around this time too? Oh yeah! That's also quite a face he has, Chad. That telephone call. Exactly. In other words, this very moment on the other end of the telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder. It's very good. Yeah, I agree. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Damn, we have like a million ghost tricks. I think the title of the game should go from ghost trick to ghost tricks. Trick time. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line. I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Oh, now that is a character design. Look at those eyebrows. It's like his eyebrows are trying to do like the Heiachi Tekken hairstyle. <laughs> By themselves. <laughs> That's what he really reminds me of. Is it done? Dot to dot to dot to dot to dot. Speak up, man. Did you get her? Dot to dot to dot to dot. Who is this? Dot to dot to dot to dot. Hmm, yes. A thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Trace complete. 
So that's him, huh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. And you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, yeah, you can see a line coming into the telephone more clearly now. There is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead could jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Of course. Say what? I've done all I can to help you. You have to do the rest yourself. <laughs> AKA you beat the tutorial. You're not coming with me. I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. Hmm. I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. Trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who could do it. When you'd use your powers of the dead to find this truth. Dot to dot to dot. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Dot to dot to dot. Wow, we just we just showed up Ray there. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. It doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery. Find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. One and the same? Hmm. The Sis Lamb knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Okay, at least the protagonist realizes that. If this was Phoenix, right, we'd be like, uh, okay. <laughs> right, chat? Like, <laughs> we'd be full brain off mode. Now then. From that call a moment ago, you have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. You got a new phone number. So I think this is how we kind of chapter select. So we'll be zipping around to different points. Generally, it'll be pretty obvious where we need to go, but I think we could get bonus dialogue by purposely going places we shouldn't go. Let's go to Sis1729, I guess. Smarter than Phoenix, a low bar, but reassuring one. Yeah, something like that. So the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning, I'll cease to exist. And I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Save your current place and time, sure. Let's continue playing. I think I could do one more chapter. Chapter 2, 7.31 p.m. Who am I? Why was I killed? One who's sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. Again, I feel like it's a bit of a stretch. The other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Oh. Oh, that is... That is certainly going to be a design when we go over to that other character. Hmm, yes. If what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight! Confound that nearsighted Jago. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. You should have sent somebody else. Oh, we can't see the rest of his hair. He's just too tall. Not to worry, sir. I've already taken the next step, sir. There you go. Tap, 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 slap. Hmm, yes. Let I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, you've been quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings. This oddly refined music. The character designs in this game are certainly unique, says the chat. They're certainly something. An odd little machine. Never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. These people are assassins. What's more, 
Red-headed woman is another one of their targets. The file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. New info has been added. Trick time. Oh. What new info was added? Oh. Ray got updated. Calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the power of the dead. He wants me to find out the truth behind the mysterious things happening in the town tonight. Eyebrowed villain who's eating grapes. The man who gave near sight of Jago the order to kill. It's probably behind my death, and the red-headed woman's death too. His motives are unknown. Masked bustle man. That's a way to call him. You know, he kind of has like a... Yeah. Very, very spiky hairdo. Here's to be the old man's servant. He operates the machines in this strange room expertly. I love him doing the little smack animation, I'm not gonna lie. But we could touch other things if we had a bit more reach. I think for now we gotta examine the file. Oops, he closed the file on us. Mm, yes. How much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. Oh no, not another character that hmm, yes is. This, this has to be a Japanese thing. I confound that, Jago, I say. For year, his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. We'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Well, might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? Seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Oh, that's awkward. Wait, Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen two at the target. Miss Lin is no longer a threat, sir. Uh-oh, we have a name now. Oh, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm. Lin, huh? So that's her name, is it? This is Dr. Hogney's true self, an evil super villain assassin. Oh no. But this file. Looks like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. They're like, oh no, it's in English. I can't read it. Somehow less sketchy than Hadi himself. That's also true. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? Tap, tap, tap. Smack. Oh no, we've been drawered. There you go. <laughs> what what a very standard and usual room to live in. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Let's read our thoughts, I guess. Darn, this is a pickle. The phone I got put up. The phone I got. Wait, the phone I. Oh, the phone and I. My bad. The phone and I got put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Lin. Sure is a weird room. Traveled through the phone line to get here. But where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? We go to the lamp. Go to the projector. Can't reach anything else. Let's turn on the projector. That'll probably cause them to do something. Oh, I might have missed my opportunity. Or maybe I do. You know what I do? God, man, are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. Here's the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Ah, oh, granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off, confound it. Hmm, yes, in any case. I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In this case, might I suggest this, sir? Uh-oh. Hey, that's... Hmm, yes. Sicil. All goes well with our deal tonight. With the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. 
And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. Must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. Deal, uh-uh. What could that be all about? So what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Hmm. Smack. We're completely prepared for tonight, sir. Mm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. How else would our names both come up here like this? Hmm. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna go in the painting. Presumably he's gonna turn it off. Where is your head, man? Don't you go, I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. I'll get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me. Now they're targeting the redhead. Did they, though? Right, chat? I don't know. Like, even as, like, a new player... Like, even if you don't know how this game ends, it's like, hmm... It sounds like they still think you're alive, according to what they just said. What kind of connection did we have with each other? Let's listen in on dialogue. I say, this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with the painting spinning around and the like? It's enough to give a man the jitters! My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Hmm, yes. I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? miserable state of affairs when I can't even when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring hey God it's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice bah! the problem must be solved sir the miss Lin problem sir what Lin hmm yes you did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. Now that is a name. A telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. It is in danger again. This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with it, man! Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. The target got here first. They wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? Dot to dot to dot to dot to dot. I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the hitman division. Ah, oh, no, man! Now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott, now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it, you're even hanging up one step ahead! Trace complete. You got a new phone number. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of Nearsighted Jago's pay. Lin, can't lose her. 
is my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Guess I'll dial the phone. I'm gonna go back to the junkyard to see if anything new happens for doing this. Obviously, it wants us to go to the apartment. I'm just curious. Just as before, rain passes through me as, as it makes its way to the ground. What if the red-handed woman is still here? After that telephone call, she reported the, oh after that telephone call, she reported the whole incident to the police. This junkyard is such an out of the way place. It'll take them a while to get here. Until they arrive though. Looks like she's watching over your body. Sense of duty, huh? No wonder she isn't scared of ghosts in this spooky place. Wiggle wiggle chat. The ghosts are already here. <laughs> hey, cut that out. She'll think I'm haunting the place. In any case, just leave this place to me. You go out and pursue your mystery. Trick time. Right, so she doesn't have any thoughts. Brain empty town. We can't reach anything from here. Maybe we got a little bonus dialogue, I guess. Alright, let's go to Lynn's apartment. This will probably be the final thing that we do for today. Unfortunately, today will be a short stream. I think it gave a good taste of the game. Oh no. Is the dog dead on the floor? The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet. But unfortunately, the hitman is. There are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm. Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And even unluckier, little doggy. Poor brave little warrior. Must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, to do something about this situation, fast. Trick time. Let's take a look at the room before we go further. So she probably didn't hear the killer come in because she had music on. We can see we're going to be having fun with this in the future. Ooh, Thought Bubble. That nearsighted Jago is really losing his touch. Looks like the title of Head of Hitman Division will soon be mine. Pro never takes his eyes off his prey. That's the secret to getting promoted. This is fool mumbling about sitting there stuffing his face with donuts. Never mind that. I'm gonna rescue that poor little lady. And that poor little doggy too, of course. Hmm. Something we might be able to go in between. Ooh, interesting. There's a body of water here. Umbrella. Can we... I love him eating the food if we look at it a little more. Let's see if he goes for it again. Like how he says, never takes his eyes off the target. And he does this with his little eating animation. Uh, so we can extend this just to mess with him. So maybe we're gonna use that later. We can open the door. Ah, uh, maybe we could trip somebody with this? What do you think, chat? Like, they're coming in and we knock it, like, make them stumble over something? And anyway, we're gonna go to the dog. Huh? Where am I? Where the point? Who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, you see anybody else around here? If I remember right. The dead don't have voices. The thoughts reach the other person directly. This then explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see. The dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. So, that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! There you go, chat. Dog. Miss Kamala! And Miss Camel is in danger. You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. Hmm, 
This is getting Indeed, interesting. show us the dog. I think Missile was the name of the dog in Phoenix Wright, right? I'm a Pomeranian. Well, guess I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla's in trouble. I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. I'm gonna let her down like this. So, you're more worried about your own mistress's safety than your own death, huh? Like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. New info has been added. But I'm gonna see the new info. Rewind time. Parameter confirming it was. Thank you, Parameter. Little Phoenix right nod, I guess. 733, Maison da Amida. Let's see, first of all, better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? Followed me. I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Hmm. Looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? That means you're gonna save Miss Camelot, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean we traveled through time and not especially. I mean, Miss Camelot can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she could do that, it's also strange that you could walk backwards through time. So, that's the way your mind works, huh? Oh, I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started! Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Miss Camelot. I'm a dog, I have no sense of time, pretty much. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. We watch closely, but we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues! Yippee! Found the remote! Oh, now that is a character. Shut that mutt up! No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. Lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. want her to knock the wall down, do you now, boy? Uh, why do you bark so much anyway? How many tails does Missile have? Possibly four. You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Wag, 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 chat. Oops. Phew, that was close. Hmm. She already dangled it above the water. I think I see where it's going. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. So she moves the donuts at some point. That could be relevant. The mouse comes out. I'll knock this wall down! Hmm. I really like it when jobs outside the original scope creep up. Or crop up, excuse me. To put it down as a separate charge. And accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Wow, we actually shot the dog? That is messed up. That's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. 
Chat's like, okay, we're killing this guy, right? <laughs> wow, look at that, I'm dead. Kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? Seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, I guess the only thing we could do is get the little lady to, her s to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. You notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones. Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. Those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. Maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. I think we had more information. I want to see the more information before we go further. Me, the mystery. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. My name is Sissel. There's a connection between me and Lynn. Witness my death. Apparently trying to make a deal tonight with a mysterious old man. A woman who was at the scene of my death. Her name's Lynn. She's already been killed once by the hitman, and I saved her with the powers of death. Her powers of the dead, excuse me. Also, some nearsighted Jago. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill that Detective Lynn and me. But he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. Mm hmm. Eyebrowed villain. He's probably the culprit time behind my death and Lynn's death, too. But his motives are unknown. And he's planning to carry out a deal with me tonight, but I don't know the details. Talk about the other hitman. Dead man, who, on the old man's orders, is targeting Lynn. Name is one step ahead Tango. He's nearsighted Django's rival. Arrived at Lin's apartment early, is now waiting for his prey to come home. Her name is Camilla. Apparently, she lives with... Or maybe it's Camilla. She lives with Lin and a small dog. Currently, has been tied up by a hitman. is in a terrible danger. Valiant pet. His name is Missile. He was killed by a hitman while trying to protect his little mistress. He's a, lo he's a loyal little doggy. Uh, so we have all the new information out of the way. I think I could do this to hit the headset. Oh, so close. You almost knocked the red things down. Hey, I think you're onto something here. Drop them in the fish tank. Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. If we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. It's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay. You've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. Can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing around watching. Turn and Black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. My ghost tr tricks can only get me so far. I say, little lady, I'm gonna have to get her cooperation. First thing is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Yeah, we can only reach one side of the room. We know eventually she's gonna move the donuts over. But presumably, I need to hit them. So we'll get a check mark if we've seen it before. So presumably when she's going to fumble them, I have to hit the I have to stop time essentially and knock them downwards. I think is what we're supposed to do. Okay, so I can also go back to the beginning if I want to, which I don't want to. So maybe we could use the remote later to swing on by. We have to wait for her to do some things, I think. I wonder if I could smack her foot with the door. What that would do. Huh? Oh, this isn't good. This Camilla's gonna put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. Once she gets them on, it's all over. I'm gonna really hear a thing. What can I do? Oops. Wow. Ow, why is it acting up all of a sudden? 
I really like getting smacked by doors, especially in my own house. I think the door is a bad dog, biting the hand that feeds it. Although with missile, it's more nibbling at the tip of my nose than at than my hand. We did get our attention briefly. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I could really do. I could try to trip her, as I said before. Alright, so let's try to open it up when she fumbles. There we go. Oh no, darn! How did I manage to do that? I just bought those headphones, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Damn. <laughs> oh, wow, chat. Actually blame the dog. Rip dog. Arf, arf, chat. Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. This is on her for putting it above the fish tank. That's also true. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, huh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we could use the little lady's ears to help us. Fate changed. Yeah, so she's gonna move the donuts over. Oh. Dialogue bubble. We'll listen to it. The question is, what do we do now? Do you accept my soul as your lord and savior? That's something. Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit! Hmm. Doesn't seem like we could stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide, Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? Sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? Where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm. You might just have just the place. There's one little problem. Gotta get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that. This is the only way to do it is lead her there. Now then, what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I could come up with. I'll be there watching, cheering you on! So I could rock a bowl. And then knock the donut over. Oh, another dialogue thing. Hmm. I can move this over. Missile, if you bark like that, you're gonna make the lady next door start howling. Keep this up. That wall's gonna come down on our heads before we know it. You'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will. It's quite a big promise for a little fella. Four little guys up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Hmm. I thought she was gonna get spooked noticing the rat, but maybe not. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. When that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark... Miss Camelot always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Look at that, chat. Hmm. I'll be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Hmm. Huh? How? Whenever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. Then you go to bark the rat. Then a little lady comes down to quiet you. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, donut could be the bait that will lead the little lady where we want her. I don't... It was When it was talking about hiding her place, was it talking about under the TV? It's not where I was thinking earlier. We could do that. We could play this. Can't reach that yet. Let's go ahead and knock the donut over. Huh? Can't make another donut fall. Hmm, what do we do now? Let the donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Hmm. 
Looks like only one donut will fall. Well, it's the only bait that will lead the little lady where we want her. Maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. Alright, so maybe I have to reset, but we could play other things. Spark like that. How can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? Poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. The ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. I tried graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. Okay. So presumably I could jump to this. And we'll let time resume slightly. And open the door to bat it somewhere. Wow, you set that thing flying! I have to tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. Hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa, huh? Oh, there'd be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it. This camera climbs under the sofa all the time. Trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? My new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem now is how do I lead her under there? I think I have to reset because I only have one donut. But we could take a look at the rest of the, the area. Rock the painting. Doesn't do that much. So we'll, we'll reset slightly. It's kind of unfortunate it only gives you one chance to do it. It's a little rude, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we could just barely not reach that, so let's go back in time then. Oh, oops. I didn't move the cart yet. So we're gonna move the cart over, and then presumably we're gonna bat the donut under the sofa. I've already seen that, so let's go ahead and do this. Where'd the donuts go? Oh, she didn't take one yet. Oh, or she just moved over. That's fine. Time is passing. We could try to line it up like this. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oop, forgot I didn't switch over. At least you could see the one that bounces, at least. Alright, so let's... I like how she looks around, like, where'd they go? And she's right next to it already. And we have the donut there. It's a different rat. And presumably I just opened the door. Missile, no! doing under here you silly boy oh my little missile you're always doing the cutest things dot 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 chat nobody's here huh well we saved missile so i guess he's not dead anymore question mark my prey is bound to come home sometime might as well as make myself comfortable in the meanwhile There. Little lady's fate has been averted. It has? Poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. That's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Kemla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh! Oh, thank you! Fate averted. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? Actually, that went by pretty quickly. I think we could do at least one more. What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? 
apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I... I guess? That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now. They won't budge for me. What do you suppose that is? I... don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who gets the powers... Or, I guess not everybody who dies gets the power of the dead. What's gonna happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. Let's go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe. If you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it! Huh. Well, I guess we better get be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. And now a new present is born. The old lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. The little doggy is wagging his tail happily. What am I going to do now? I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Damn, everybody's making phone calls everywhere. What? Still at the junkyard. All right, got it. I'm on my way. Hmm. Guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. Hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. And let nearsighted Jago beat me out on this one. I better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Lynn! Trick time. Oh. Pop bubble. Call from Lynn, huh? Sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I go possess the phone and listen in. Yeah, as I said before, like, from what I remember playing of the game a long, long time ago, the dialogue at the top very rarely matters. It's more like hints, I guess you could say, where at least some sub-story might happen in this. I'm gonna make this rotate faster because it seems fun. Yeah, there we go. Look at us go. I don't think I did that last time. What is that? What did we even drop? I might have missed some dialogue we could have had earlier. Oops, how rude of me when the little lady's on the phone. Not really the right time for this kind of cheerful melody anyway. Besides, unlock this wall down. So is that to worry about? I better turn it off. So I think I missed an opportunity to see what was in here. Hmm. It kind of makes me want to go backwards a little bit. There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor. Dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back to for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? That can't possess living creatures. One of the rules Mr. Deslam taught me. What would a living and breathing doggy be doing with the core? Try possessing him and see. Oh, it's you, it's you! It's, hmm, come to think of it, I never did ask your name. Guess it's good we ran into each other, then. It's a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. I mean, you forgot my name already? For everything we shared together, the drama, the tearful goodbye? I'm Missile! But, you know, it's strange. I why you remember me, now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it! Okay, let me get this straight. Memory of being dead doesn't disappear. The dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. That means that that... 
And then if I possess that core, I could talk to that person. It looks that way, yes! Hmm, that camel it never fails. Whatever fails. Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that's that was you showing off, huh? Oh, I'd like to hear what the what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I! Okay, curiosity. Why are there so many safe slots now? I'm kind of confused. Um... Oh! Oh, I didn't realize this was dialogue here. Those are- oh, I only have one safe slot. Damn, I'd have to replay the game to see the other portion then. Oh well, I think I missed out on some very minor dialogue. I got confused. I thought they were save slots. I didn't realize you could click on them for more info. Oops. The place where I lost my life. There used to be a junkyard on the outskirts of town. Here I met Ray, who taught me my powers, and Lin, who might have information about my death. So let's look at Lin's apartment. Lin's home. A little girl and a small dog are waiting for return, but a man came to call instead. We have a mysterious room, the mysterious old man who stole my life and his equally mysterious underling, hanging out here. The room appears to be equipped with many mysterious devices. Oh well, I might as well save then. Sure, we'll continue playing. Let's at least get to the phone call. Okay, I'm on the right object, so let's go ahead and trick this over. And then we hit her with the door. Oh, I didn't hit her. <laughs> right, Jack? Can you imagine? <laughs> Just mess with the plot the whole time. Pamela, oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. I won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You gotta get out of there right now. So I guess they're establishing she might have a core, question mark. What about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while. You might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive. I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? And one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? Sorry, but it doesn't play. Can't even get the lid open. Oh. Well, then maybe I solved something we weren't supposed to solve, because we found the music box already. You can't very well call it a music box, then, can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big, and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Ah! Oops. Rip phone. Hopefully there's nothing in that fish tank. Not again. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there too. They really gotta stop putting their electronics near it there. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Wow, dog getting hardcore blame chat. But I'm sh I but I sure hope Lynn's alright. Better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. How am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? Quick time. I'm assuming there's gonna be dialogue, so we're just gonna read it. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Yeah, why do they have a fish tank with presumably no fish in it? Looks like our little lady's a bit of a klutz. Next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. Better help Kembla find her treasure. Hmm. I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what. I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Ooh, that's a little odd, right, chat? Hmm. I'm just gonna talk to the dog. Looks like this is your chance to shine. Me? What do you mean? 
could really help her out right now with that great nose of yours. Oh, you're right. I didn't think of that. So what kind of smell should I be looking for? Oh, uh, I don't really know. Whoa. Hey, come on. You can't expect me to do everything for you. <laughs> the music box is like a bathtub. Oh, no. That's okay. Don't feel too bad about it. I'm being consoled by a dog. It is a deep terrace pharma. Anyway, we already know the solution to this. We stumbled upon it by accident earlier. Hey, wait a minute. That car just moved, didn't it? I always thought so, but that just proves it. This apartment building is... Dot, 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 dot. Leaning to one side. There you go, chat. Phew. The lady knows how to keep me on the edge of my seat. This is it, the music box. Yippee! I'll leave the remote here. Don't you touch it, Missile. The TV comes on, you'll start barking. I need to find you flattened underneath that wall when I come home. This sounds like a hint for a puzzle. Oh, so I guess we're not gonna go with her with the music box. Maybe we have to go into the other apartment. So we're gonna make the, the lady knock and possess her wine glass, maybe? Is that what's happening? Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know. You be good while I'm away, and no barking! Arf, arf, chat. How big are script pockets if it a music box? Humongous in Parameter. Still no peace for the little lady. The redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. The receiver at the bottom of the fish tank. I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Maybe I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. This is something I must do. The question is, how go about getting out of here? Oh, I so see we, we pass. I guess I'll save. Go a little further. Still got like 40 minutes. Chapter 3, 804 p.m. Once again, Lynn is in danger. I think she knows it too. Sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. Oh, by the way, chat, this game is not very long. I imagine we'll probably finish it by next week. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. To get to her, and fast. The telephone in the apartment being out of service. My only hope of escape is to find another telephone. No Mr. Deslap here. Excuse me, desk lamp. The only friend I have to talk to is the nice little dog you curled there on the floor. Let's talk. Oh, hello, what's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try! About the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. I think you might be right there. Damn. I'm really, really good at barking. This Link comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. Not quite a bit of influence around these parts. That's a hint. So... We presumably have to get to the far right of the room. So this is the remote. So this should turn on the TV, which should make the dog bark. I'll knock this wall down. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down upon you. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry Hal? <laughs> I like that the whole plot of this game basically doesn't work anymore in modern society because there's no there's no landlines. So sorry, chat. All, all the ghosts are stuck where they are. Rip the ghosts. No, forget that. 
is the sound of a telephone ringing, coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing your telephone, aren't you? How are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, Lena next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. I wonder if I could talk to the dog before we progress. Let's see what the dog has to say. Come on now, can't you bark any louder than that? Louder? Then the lady will knock the wall down on top of me. We'll worry about that when it happens. Hmm. Anyway, I'm barking as loud as I can already. Need to have this little doggy put some more energy into it. Let's see. Isn't there something else around here that gets a reaction out of him? Hmm. Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door. I have to create a path to get there somehow. Do I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. If it's true to our word, we might be able to change the situation. Wait, 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 is that the game's plot? We're seriously trying to make her go through the wall? I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though, if you don't mind. Ghosts need to upgrade to 5G. So true. I have to do something to change the situation. Make just a little more racket somehow. Alright, so we can't do anything with this. Like just out of reach. So we can almost reach the other side. I'm gonna wiggle this just because. Maybe I need to have the ornament playing as well. I'll pound this wall open! <laughs> She's done the dog flying? Rip dog, I guess. I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? That is definitely a sturdy bottle. More like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are. The TV and the star ornament aren't. Uh, I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute. Looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? There we go. We could reach the wine bottle. Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? The wall is still standing just like before. There are paths only the dead can see. If only we had Dogi, that wall wouldn't stand a chance. If only, chat. Oh, those kinds of paths! Trick time. I want to talk to the dog. Phew, that felt good. I haven't barked like that in a long time. Certainly seem to be putting your heart into it. It's nice to really let loose once in a while. I'm a little tired now, though. Not as young as I used to be. I'm two already, after all. There you go, chat. Hmm. Look how old I am. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're gonna say Miss Kamala and Miss Lynn? Dot, dot, dot. Follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? Helps me along my way. And yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. Not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way and go help Miss Kamala, too. We create our own paths. Right, Missile? That's right! Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. Ever meet again? That's what you could call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said. Is he gonna go out the window or something? Oh. Well, oops. Bonk. Hmm. Missile did not attain the knowledge of using doors. 
Tonight is the is that holiest of all nights. My deadline. Missile and sizzle. Mm-hmm. All I need to all I need to get some inspira I need to get some Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't read the rest of the sentence. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to that boorish Oh, excuse me. Here is to the boorish boorish people next door. I can't talk today, apparently. New info has been added. Are you all right, my darling angel? But anything missiles now losing knowledge with the freaking blows to the head. Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? I guess that's why there's all the rats, because she has all the cheese. Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What the oddly tense air of this place anyway? Where's that little treasure I'm looking for? Wait, who's in the bed? There it is, the telephone. I could just borrow it. Her posture is something else. Quick time. Even now, Lin's life is in danger. I use that phone and fast. I very well make that woman bring it to me. I just have to find a way over there myself. Oh, you can't actually jump to her wine glass. There's a mouse up there. There's certainly some interesting... Oh, I can examine the dictionary. Let's examine that. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. That woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. I can be wine, but not a wine glass. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking we we're going to lure her over and travel on the wine glass, but whatever. More like a weapon than a book. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. So we're presumably going to knock the mouse over. I think I helped her find it by having the mouse fall. But it's strange. Now I left this dictionary on the shelf as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Damn, my timing is so tight, chat. <laughs> I was like, I'm just messing around. We got it in one try, I guess. Oh, what was that? Perhaps, my darling angel. Maybe the... It said mama. Maybe, maybe the wine glass is so in tune with her that we can't possibly go in between. Brought this dictionary all the way over here to look something up. Here, regardless, here it sits all alone. There, she forgot what she wanted to look up. She forgot she even wanted to look anything up in the first place. Hmm. Is it regardless really a word? So, I guess I just have to wait. What is it, my darling angel? Hal, my head hurts, Mama. You poor dear, and no wonder with the fever of 102. Here's to a night of fever, hotter than the love of my prime minister. Almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. I ever don't want to go. I just don't go. And pretend I did. Go play with Kamala next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. 
Ting. Hey, today's Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? What are we gonna celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! Just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Ooh, that's awkward. <laughs> Any excuse to drink? Cheers, pretty much. Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels, and Papa wants you to stop. It was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. Uh-oh. I want to go home. Now, now. It's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. Mother of the year, chat. I hate you, Mama. Ting. New info has been added. All right, let's, let's check out this info. Wait, how do we get new info on her? She found a little girl in her apartment. I lost track of her. Okay, this is the only thing that updated there. On hearing Lin was still at the junkyard, he headed there at once. Okay, so we're getting small updates here and there. Her name is Camilo. Over the phone, Lin asked her to find the music box hidden in the apartment and bring it to the restaurant. Okay. New info on Missile. Here's the childhood trauma, pretty much. Friendly little Pomeranian, his name is Missile. His mission is to protect little girls who's mistress. He's doing his best right now to create a path to do just that. Perfumed lady. Lynn's neighbor. She lives in an apartment decorated in red with her daughter. Apparently she's a novelist who moved here due to a disagreement with her husband. Feverish Firecracker. That is quite a title. The daughter of the woman in the purple. She's a fever of 102 and is resting in bed. Apparently she and Camilla are friends. She isn't going out for her lesson tonight. We'll do a little save here. I think I should be able to complete whatever it wants me to do. I don't know if we'll complete the chapter, but we'll make some advances. These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. Just like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. Hmm. I'm gonna see if she picks up the dictionary. Oh my, the lamp is out. I'm sorry, she's doing what? Oh, it's that kind of lamp. That's not what I thought she was doing. My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. So, what did that do for us? We spooked her a little bit. What is going on? Oh, I made a typo. Oh, okay, so now she's gonna do this. She throws us somewhere. She did. I actually could reach it from there. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. What does this do? Like something sparking up there. Oh no, a chandelier. I was gonna say, we have the option to drop it on her head. Alright, we'll, we'll just open these for the sake of annoying her. So maybe we could drop a mouse down or something through here later. Oh. Make harder, make chime. Let's make a chime. Oh, that's all it did. An alluring spy, maybe. I reached the phone. We got there eventually. Hello. Is that you? 
How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights. My deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position and write your novel just as well from home. Till you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! He's got the crazy eyes going on, chat. Let me talk to Emily, then at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't you have you giving her any nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. That's apparently the husband. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. I wonder if they reused... I think they reused one of the designs on a future Phoenix Wright character. This That character in particular kind of shows up again in uh, Investigations. Just m not quite as... Nice looking, I would say. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Race complete. Troubled man's office. And she cheers to herself. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. Here's about this woman's husband. But I should go find my only lead first. The man who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I better hurry. Translation, we're doing everything but what the game wants. Alright, I think we have enough time to mess around and we'll take a little break here. So let's go back to the apartment and see how things- Actually, let's, let's go in order before we go to the junkyard. Line doesn't seem to be working. Guess I can't go there right now. Aw. Oh. Go back to the apartment. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. The phone is dead. I guess we could go to the troubled man's office. Damn, a good old freak out. Are you all right, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me! I beg your pardon, sir! Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir! Oh, boy. Another strange room and another strange person. Wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. Trick time. big room. Make this flat for no reason. <sighs> it's like a little too short. Medicine bottle and documents, but I can't do anything with them. Yeah, it's like I could just barely not do anything in the room. Hmm. Seems like quite a room if we ever have to go back to it. I like the moon in the background. And that's all we can see in the room. Nice saber up there. Let's take a little break here, chat. Let's see if there's any other information to update. Yeah, some info. <clears throat> uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. She refuses to answer the phone anymore tonight Was updated for Perfume Lady She's worried about her father's birthday Did that come up? Did I miss something in the dialogue? I don't remember saying the word birthday at any point I'm not sure how we learned this To be honest with you We have Careworn Gentleman he Sits alone in his stately office tearing out his hair He's frantic about his wife The woman in purple who has left him See, did we learn anything new about these places? We'll read these before we wrap up the session. An apartment with a strange, oh, apartment with a strangely thick atmosphere. 
The woman in purple lives here. The world apart from Lin's apartment next door. Oh, I think it updated that a music box was hidden in the ceiling. Office of the Troubled Man. Stately office that gives off a cold, heavy air. Man sits alone, tearing out his hair in anguish. I think that's all we have to say here, so let's go ahead and save. Let's, what if we say no to continue playing? I'm assuming it just boots us here. Yeah, we, oh, you can chapter select. Hmm. So that might be useful if I want to go back if I missed anything at least. That's interesting. Sadly, it seems like I'd have to play through most of chapter two just to get back here. So maybe we'll revisit some things later. Right now, I don't want to mess up our save because I think we're where we should be. But at least if we want to replay some of the things, it's nice that that's an element. But anyway, let's chat a little bit. Hopefully Chan has been enjoying this game. Put on a little bit of the soundtrack as we discuss some things. It's certainly very quirky. I can see elements of Phoenix Wright in the gameplay itself. The hmm yeses indeed have uh, transferred over from Phoenix Wright to this game. Yeah, we'll be uh, kind of messing around. I think we got a good idea of the flow of the game where it's going to be a mixture of, you know, puzzles. We're trying to prevent a death, so we have a time limit that's more like the gameplay aspect. And then just kind of navigating the room, we kind of ghost trick between different places and can get additional information by clicking on the dialogue and whatever. So I'm going to try to get as much dialogue as I can without backtracking. So we'll be taking our time going through the chapters. We'll see if chat forms any theories as to how we died or our importance to the plot as it goes forward. Since we had some very interesting things happen, and even in chapter one, that might give some hints as to what the big reveal of the game will end up being. So it'll be interesting. So we'll just kind of note things down as we go through. I will say though, we'll be trying to mess around by going to places we shouldn't as much as possible just to get extra dialogue. So hopefully we'll get more, I guess, flavor text for the world itself. Yeah, so far, you know, it is very, very, very touchscreen heavy. But I think for the most part, it kind of works as is. I think the reason why this game is not as bad, I would say, compared to, like, other touchscreen games, is that because this game is, like, all touchscreen, you're not, like, awkwardly transitioning between resting your thumbs on, like, the... the you know, things like the D-pad or face buttons or resting fingers on, like, the side buttons. You're literally only playing by tapping the screen. Do you know what I mean? So I think it, it translates a little better than something like a Dawn of Sorrow, where you have this, like, really awkward transition between combat and actions. Which, speaking of which, we'll be getting to that later tonight. Slash a different video for those watching YouTube. So, so far I think it, it mostly holds up. I mean, you know... It is what it is in terms of the presentation. So I think I kind of like this layout. I think I'll leave it as is. But with that chat, we're going to say goodbye to you too. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the bot, I'd like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.